In this tutorial, we're going to look at the CSS column property and how you can use it to split your text into separate columns. So imagine that you've got a big blob of text, possibly in a paragraph tag, and you want to separate it out into separate columns. What you could do is split that paragraph text into separate elements and then use some CSS styling like a flex box, or just altering the width of each element to create that column effect. But you can use the widely supported CSS column properties to let CSS do all of the hard work for you. So you can just specify a number in the columns property and CSS will split the text that you've got. In this case, it's a paragraph tag inside of a containing element. Alternatively, you can provide it a width that you'd like each column to be. And rather than specifying the number of columns, you specify how wide you'd like each column to be and CSS will split the text into those columns and you don't need to specify how many columns you actually want to see. So there are some more advanced things that you can do with CSS columns and I'm going to run through some of those properties now. So you can specify the number of columns you want with the column count property, which pretty much does exactly the same as just specifying that number in the columns property. But we can do a few things to fine tune how the columns appear. For example, we can specify a gap between the columns which kind of puts some extra margin in for us without having to specify any margin properties. And we can also put a line in between each of the columns by specifying the style, width and color. And we'll get one of those for every column that gets created. And there's a shorthand where you can specify those values all in one go. And finally, you might have some elements that you want to span across several columns. For example, you can see we've got a heading level one tag in the first column, and that is actually inside the container element, but we might want it to actually span across the top of the page as a kind of heading. So we can specify the column span property on the h1 tag. And if we just specify a value of all, it takes up all of the columns that are on the containing element. So if you have a need to split your text into columns, instead of creating your own elements and managing the margins and CSS directly yourself, just remember you can make use of the columns property and you can adjust how it appears with some of the properties that we've looked at in this video.